responsibility to support the state election commission guided by the central election commission because first of all i congratulate them for conducting a very successful election in the state of telangana without any problem very successfully more than 4 crore 3 crore voters huh? telangana 4 crore 3.26 crore and first i congratulate them for organizing the home voting for our elders and it has been successfully conducted in the state election commission of uh, in the state election of telangana and it is a role model for the rest of the country and the elders always feel they are unable to because youngsters won't feel i have seen elders feel unable to take part in the democratic festival of voting so now we have fulfilled the desire of the elders and my appeal for the youngsters one thing i want to enforce here the holidays for voting holiday is given to the citizens only to vote not to go for excursion in the lighter sense i will tell i was contesting from one of the constituencies and when uh, honorable uh, prime minister was about to land in another constituency i was about to reach that constituency in the airport i saw most of my neighbors it was just few days before the voting then i asked you are all in the airport the two within 2 two to 3 days the day of voting is going to come you are all there no madam the voting is on monday no so saturday sunday monday we had an additional holiday so we are going to uti we are going to kodaikanal so please this holiday is for voting and my feeling is even the i i appreciate the state election commission because they appealed the it companies of hyderabad you because some of the hydra uh, companies did not offer holiday but the election commission pleaded them to go for a holiday for voting but i don't know how many of them voted so next day we have to ask them to show the finger with the mark of voting in tamil there is a proverb how voting is considered verumayanavargalai perumayaganavargalaga aakuvatharku karumpulligalai kaiyil thaangum vaakkalargal how it is means to make an ordinary person to an extraordinary person but we are bearing the black mark in our finger but that black mark it is not the black mark it is the mark of our democracy and we have to have it like vilupun uh, we say because when we go for a war we feel that some wound should be there in the war so that to participate i have participated in this war the i have the knife mark in my chest i have a bullet mark in my i have i bought the bullet in my hand or in my legs so it is like that mark you should be proud about it and i appeal the election commission because they are doing it in a much better way they are motivating and they are in, uh, making the influencers to influence the voting but at the same time each and every student first time voter and even the other people uh, my appeal is there should be 90 to 95% of voting because there is a saying anecdote bad officials are elected by good citizens bad officials why am not officials i am ask telling because politicians means then they will come uh, fighting with me so bad officials are elected by good citizens who do not vote so that is the big thing who do not vote and if we don't vote we are ignoring the history and giving away the future so we have to vote that is our responsibility like we read we sleep we eat the voting is our responsibility 
and the, now the election commission is providing so many facilities and i appeal them there should be good water good ambience and good help for the elders and the youngsters and the youngsters are now hesitant to stand in the line if i ask them who will madam stand in the line so it's a long line but to go for a foreign country to get visa they will be standing in a line even hot sun they will be standing but to select a good politician among our candidates you fail to vote them and another mistake we do and uh, election commission won't accept that but i am dead against nota none of the above somebody is there to get your vote you assess the candidates you assess the candidates and you assess one among them good among them and if nobody you find out okay you go for nota but the youngsters know they are not assessing the candidates at all if i ask because when the first girl came here i asked which is your constituency she told which is your booth i asked she told i really congratulate her because sometimes when we give the card which is your constituency they don't know which is your booth they don't know so she is ready to vote because she has identified her constituency and she has identified her booth also she has to identify her candidate that I, that i cannot say <laughs> she has to identify so we have to assess the candidates who are the good candidates and two challenges the election commission is facing one is cash for vote and another is false voting they used to say one person told no i i was very fortunate when i went to the polling booth polling booth i saw my grandmother coming here from heaven because how means i saw my grandmother voted there so this type of things also now election commission is taking my more efforts to remove the dead voters but sometimes we as politicians we have faced so many things and now the candidates also i am very disheartened to say one incidents in telangana election one of the candidate was appealing the voters please vote for me if you are not voting i will commit suicide that type of influence should not be there that is wrong and i appeal the election commission they should take strong action against such candidates also you appeal by doing what all the good things you have done but sitting in front of the camera and saying oh i will if you are not voting i will commit suicide then how will take forward the challenges faced by the society to help the people so we have to i am I, again i am telling that 50% voting is there 50% non voters are there and these non voters are electing the bad officials and when i was a candidate i saw when i was coming out of the polling booth i saw one of the policemen fainted then i immediately approached me as a doctor i went and gave first aid then i asked why you fainted then he told for 5 to 6 days and continuously on duty so here police officials are there so i appeal them whether it is collector or teachers or the organizers or the police officials look that they get adequate rest and the their good gap between their duties because each and every one productivity should be there so it's already late for me but again i my appeal is you all should be motivated and the motivation should start from the college level for the first time voters and the elders should be motivated to get their votes from home and all the collectors and all the organizers from today they have to work and there should be a competition between the electoral officers who will vote maximum whether they get 90% votes or 95% voting so maximum number of voting and i think sometimes the only the advertisements are not helping us we spend lot of on our advertisements but advertisements only not helping us each and every one should be motivated and as our great ambedkar said i have not given a weapon in the hands of my citizens 
instead of weapon i have given the vote so that is the weapon so that is the weapon which can fight against atrocities which can fight against misrule so you are the most powerful people in the democracy whether the politicians are not the voters are the most powerful people in the democracy please exhibit the power and go and vote